Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to insert just a quick apology to all of you for this video being uploaded so late. Um, I know DIY Mondays are, according to my analytics, DIY Mondays are one of my most requested videos and I am really sorry that this is getting uploaded so late. Um, it is it's like 9.20 at night right now and I am actually just editing this video and then I will be putting it up so it probably won't be posted till around 11.30 midnight and then I have to get up at 3 in the morning and take Jasmine over to Butte um, to catch her you know her ride out to go to college and it's been a I, I, I'm not handling it as well as I thought I would or as long as I well as I did up until today anyway so um, I know I'm sitting here looking barefaced and pretty horrific, but I just wanted to apologize that this is so late. Are and you filming? I just wanted to apologize that this was so late and that I'm coming on looking so ragged. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Night. Hi everybody, I'm Julie. Welcome to Big Sky Beauty. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY hair mask. Now, this hair mask has kept my hair almost virgin-like in in quality as far as you know the the actual quality of my hair itself through bleaching coloring you know because I'm fully gray and um, I color my hair regularly uh, blow drying it every day all of the things that I do to my hair to try to give it more body because the lupus makes it fall out but uh, you know the things that I put on my hair actually help um, I have a bunch of essential oils here well not a bunch this mask that I'm going to show you is just a very um, I use this once a day or once a week is when I put this mask on and I am convinced that it's this mask that makes me have all of these little bitty hairs you know growing out and when I put my hair up in a ponytail or some kind of a tight uh, you know like something extreme or severe looking I've got all these little bitty new growth hairs poking everywhere that I've got to slick down and I absolutely know that it's because of these masks because when I quit doing them those quit growing so these masks do that unfortunately the lupus has it so that you know um, they don't grow for very long before they start falling out but I'm working on that one I'm over here my mad scientist I'm gonna figure something out I'm telling you okay so anyways I'm gonna show you tell you just a few quick things about what we're gonna put into it and then I am going to make one here now I usually make when I make my masks I make them in just this little dish um, and once again now where did my little splatula there it is you can use your finger so, I usually mix it up in this, but because I am making it ahead of time, and I'll be putting it aside and using it um, probably tonight, actually, I'm just going to mix it up in this little lock and lock container so I can cover it. Not that it's going to dry out with what we're going to put in it, but I just don't want it to get, um, I don't know, contaminated, you know? I want a cover on it, so that's what I'm doing. Now, the base that I use and not all the time. I switch on and off, but I prefer the Palmer's uh, Protein Pack. These only cost a buck twenty-nine at Target, and they are excellent. They're chock full of goodies, and you know you could use this alone. I mean, that's what it's for. You can use this alone without putting anything into it, and you're going to see, you know, nice, soft, silky, shiny hair. But when I put all my goodies into it and amp it up, my hair is—it's just gorgeous. I have. Um, I have gotten so, so, so many requests for, um, you know, from friends and stuff to show them what I do to my hair. And so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, now this is the one I use. And I'll tell you why I do in just a minute. Now, you can use any kind of base you want, okay? Any kind of a thick, uh, anything thick so that it sits on your head. Um, you can use, you know, these pre-made masks like I showed you in uh, one of my... Saturday Smiley's the other day. You can also use clay masks. Um, now, a lot of people don't know this, but clay masks are very good for the hair. Uh, I got white clay, Moroccan clay, French clay. I've got all kinds of clay. So, you just what you need is just a good base, um, and I prefer to use the um, this one. The reason for that being is, you know, some people are... Um, some people are conservators where they will add a little bit and keep adding a little bit until they get what they need and then there's 
people that know just what exactly what they need and they never have to go you know they know exactly what it is all the time and then there are the people that overuse you know um, go big or go home well that's me and so when I use a pre-made mask let's say this you know let's say my wind lavender mask this thing here lasted me through two masks and it should have lasted you know, it should have lasted a lot longer than that because I tend to overuse really bad. So I have found when I buy these little packs here, not only are not only are they really cheap, they're handy, but I don't overuse them. I get just the right amount for my hair, um, and especially with all the other things that I put in this and that I'm going to be telling you to put in it. If you've got really long hair, one of these would still do because you would be better up doubling up on your grapeseed oil or on your sesame oil than using any more of this. You know, this basically the, the uh, I guess you could say the solid that you're going to be putting in this is just so that it sits on your head without running down your neck, okay? So you can really use anything you want. So I am going to be opening this and putting this in it. Okay? And I'm just going to put it right in there. And, you know, put that in there. Okay? Now, here comes the good stuff. <laughs> I love this mask. I swear by it. Um, you know, when my mom had her stroke 12 years ago, she started having really bad problems with her hair because of all the meds she went on. And this mask was the only thing that ever made her hair soft and smooth and beautiful again. Because when she would go, like when, if I, if it would, you know, like, like if time would pass and I wasn't able to put one on her hair or something for her for a couple of weeks, you could so tell the difference. It was just such an enormous difference. Okay, so what we're going to start with is, and yes, I do have it written down because I don't remember all of my masks. So I've got a tablespoon here, okay? And I'm going to start off with one tablespoon of grapeseed oil. Okay, and grapeseed oil is excellent for the hair you guys it's really good for um, weak hair it strengthens strengthens it it's really good for hair loss it's good for dandruff um, grapeseed oil is much lighter than most other oils matter of fact it's one of the lightest oils out there and so then I'm going to go in with avocado oil now avocado has is incredibly enriched with monounsaturated fat and biotin. Both of these things are very good for your hair and are said to promote hair growth. Now, there's never been any tests and stuff on it, but anywhere you look, everybody says, you know, anywhere online, any, any kind of research that you would do, um, says that avocado uh, promotes hair growth. It is chock full of monounsaturated fats and biotin and your hair loves that so why not throw some in. And I put a half of a tablespoon in there. Okay. Okie dokie. And then we are going on to hemp seed oil. Okay. And I'm going to put a full tablespoon of that in. Now, hemp is rich in fatty acids, um, which, ow, messy, I just squirted it everywhere. <laughs> hemp seed oil is really rich in fatty acids, and that promotes, um, it provides an emollient. Um, it provides a, a barrier on your hair so that your the moisture in your hair shaft doesn't release, you know, doesn't go away and you retain it better. Um, it's really good for preventing moisture loss in your hair. Um, it helps shores up the uh, the inter intercellular matrix of the hair shaft so that all the goodies that we're putting on it are going to stay there. Okay, It's really good for split ends, dry hair, all kinds of stuff. Hemp seed oil is really good. Now, of all these oils that I'm going to show you, hemp seed is probably the strongest smelling. It's not a bad smell, it's just a very nutty smell. So... Um, but we're going to be putting something else in there that smells even worse. <laughs> but we're going to counterbalance that with some other goodies, so no biggie. Okie dokie. And then we are going on to sesame oil. Now, this is the big one, okay? This is the one that I would consider the most important. And I am putting a full tablespoon of that in. A full one in, okay? Um, sesame oil is one of the most excellent oils that you can put out of carry oils. Oop, I'm stuck here. 
is one of the best oils that you can put on your hair for hair growth. Okay, it is highly, highly nourishing. It's enriched with vitamins B, B complex. There we go. Okay, um, it's got a ton of magnesium, calcium, um, phosphorus, proteins. Um, sesame seed oil strengthens from the root. You know, it gets down deep in your scalp and strengthens from the root, and it promotes uh, uh, hair growth. It's really, really good for premature graying. Just really good stuff, you guys. I Of all of these, or these few oils that I'm showing you, the sesame oil is definitely the best. So if you only have the money to purchase maybe one of these, let it be the sesame, okay, because it's by far the best. Okay, so now that we are done with these oils... Now we've got our carry oils in it, and you'll see it's, uh, you know, it's got the paste in there, and then you can see the oil down below. So let me get my spoon out of the way, and then we are going to go in with uh, 10 drops of lavender oil, okay? And with these little parrots that I have here, I just put a whole one in it. That's what I do. It's about 10 drops. Um, these measurements don't have to be exact. Now we're going to go in with carrot seed oil. Now, in my last video, I know we put this carrot in the Moisture Bomb DIY. Okay, but in this mask, we are going to put carrot seed oil. Okay, because we want those really good nutrients next to our hair. Now, let me tell you what. This stuff is the stankiest... <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't know if it's just the VitaCost because it's the only place that I've ever gotten. Well, I ran across this really good sale and the Kara oil was like two for $12. And so I got like 20 freaking bottles. <laughs> well, not literally, but I got a whole bunch. So I need to use this up so that it can go away. But um, yeah, this is really stinky, stinky stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's just horrible. Oh, so I am taking a full dropper of it, and I'm putting that in there, and then one more half of that, because I have 15 drops of carrot oil, okay? And I will list this all down below, of course, as usual, okay? And then I am going to use eight drops of calendula. Now, I'm not going to go into the goodies of all of these oils because it will make the video too long. But I will list them all down below. And then I am compiling a, uh, or I am filming a video of the essential oils and what they're all good for. Just like you guys have asked for, okay? So I'm going to go in with one dropper full of calendula. This is really, as you can see, really yellow stuff. And it doesn't, the color doesn't color your hair, nothing like that. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with eight drops. Oop, that's the wrong cap. Hello. Eight drops of cypress. Okie doke. There's my cypress. And this has the little thing on the top. So I'm just going to put eight drops in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was actually nine. And I don't like to do that because it's not going to hurt, but um, cypress is very strong. It's got a very a good, strong smell. And then chamomile. And I have some chamomile here, but this is all I have left. Okay? And it's very, very expensive. And I don't have any more right now. And I'm about ready to make another batch of my face oil. So I am not going to put any of this in in here and like with any of these ingredients you guys can omit what you want you can add what you want um, you know you can you don't have to put all this stuff in there this is just the mixture that I have found that works so incredibly well on my hair so I'm gonna leave out the chamomile because uh, I that's all I have left and I have some face stuff to make and I want to save that for it so I am going to use 10 drops of rosemary and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okie doke. Ten drops of rosemary. And then I'm going to use five drops of clary sage. I love this mask and it smells oh, divine, you guys. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the neroli 
No, that's, that's not really that big a deal either, but I'm going to leave it out because I just, it's expensive and I don't want to put it in there. <laughs> okay, alrighty then. Okay, and then we are going to go in with 20, 20 drops of Lang Lang. And I love the smell of this stuff. Now, in this little bottle, 20 drops is four of these little bitty droppers. So, one, two, three, and four. Okie doke. And there it is, my friends. You see all that oil in there? It's not going to be like that once we get it all mixed together. Okay, it'll be a very thin paste. And the longer that it sits on your hair, it will you, you will see that your scalp will start to absorb all of this. And you're going to put it on your hair and it's going to be really slimy and oily and greasy. But I leave my masks on all weekend. <laughs> I'm serious. I put them on on Friday night. And, well, no, I take that back. On, in the winter time, I leave them on all weekend because I can run around with the ski cap on and nobody knows the difference. So, but in the summertime, I can't do that, obviously. But, yeah, I'll put them on on Friday night or Saturday morning and not take it off until Sunday night. And I'm telling you, my scalp absorbs almost everything. And by Sunday night, when I go to wash it out, my hair is just kind of, you know, it's still sitting there on top of my head in the clip. But, actually, no, I take that back. I take the clip off. Um, after, you know, after you put the tally on and keep that on there a few for a little while, I take the clip off so that it ain't poking into my head. I just use the clip um, right after I get, while well, I'm getting out of the shower is all. And there you go. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Do you see the consistency of that? You see, it's, you would think that all that oil in there would um, make it so that it was just going to run right down your neck, but it really doesn't. The That's why I really like these Palmer's um, packs so much, because it's so thick that when you put everything in it, it still remains, you know, plenty thick enough to put on your head and, you know, have it stay there and not run down your neck. Now, I leave this mask on. Now, what I do is I jump in the shower. I, you know, do all my stuff. I clean my hair really good. It's best if you have a clarifying shampoo um, because that completely strips your head and opens your, you know, opens your hair follicles up. And you know what clarifying shampoos do. And that is the best way to do this mask by far but you don't have to it doesn't have to be um, so I do everything that I'm gonna do um, and right before I get out of the shower I will I take this in the shower with me with the lid on it so the water doesn't get in there and dilute it right before I get out of the shower I will put this on my hair um, I've got a big toothed comb that I comb it all through what I do is I actually massage it into my scalp and I will massage it for as long as my arms can hold up usually around eight to ten minutes I'll massage it into my scalp, especially into my bare spots, you know, that are getting a little bit, you know, thin. I'll massage it into those really good, and then I'll just pile it all up on the top of my hair and smash it down so that it sticks onto my head, you know, and then I'll throw a shower cap on and get out of the shower, and then I take my little twisty turby or my, um, you know, turby. We all know what the turby is, right? Or a towel if you don't have a turby. Um, and then I put it on my hair and finish what I'm doing. Now, if you have a turby, what I do is I get my turby wet and put it in the microwave for about a minute and then put it on there and you've, you've added heat to it, which just ramps up the goodness of this mask. If you don't have a turby, then just take your blow dryer. Take your blow dryer and, you know, with your shower cap on and blow dry your hair a little bit. You're, you know, on top of the blow dryer, just get it, or on top of the cap, just get it nice and warm. Don't get it too close, because you'll melt your shower cap, and it'll burn your head. Um, but the a wet towel is excellent. And I will do that with a turby a couple times. And then um, I'll take the turby off, and I'll run around, do whatever. If it's in the winter time, I will put a a beanie right over my shower cap, and I'll go uptown about my business, do whatever I gotta do. But now that it's summer and I can't wear a you know thing like that, I will do these masks at night and put the shower cap on. And I will put a beanie on just so that it doesn't rub around and get on my blankets. And I will sleep with this mask on. Now, you can only leave it on for an hour or two. That would be fine. Um, I just feel like the longer I leave it on, the better it's going to be, you know. Which obviously is true. But um, an hour or two and you're going to get, you know, 
full benefits from it. So that is the mask, you guys. And then you just wash it out like normal. No, there's no, you don't shampoo it. Um, you don't have to get back in the shower. Just get your tub running, stick your head under there, and get the hot water nice and, you know, nice and warm. And just rinse it out real good. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you go like this over your scalp, you know. Scalp as you're rinsing it out so that none of it stays on, you know, anything that may have dried on there, you know, or anything like that. Um, just massage your scalp under the water until it runs, you know, until you can feel it not coming out anymore until you believe that it's clean. And then that's it. You don't want to shampoo it. There's no need to shampoo. You just rinse it out is all. Um, with, you know, really warm water. And uh, after you're all rinsed out and everything's gone, use as chilly as a water as you can handle. And rinse your hair and get your scalp good with nice cold water. And that will seal in the shaft really good or seal in the hair shaft and close everything up so all that goodness stays in there. Okay, and then you're going to want to take a couple drops of jojoba oil. Just a couple drops. Put them in your hand. Rub them just like this, just like if you were going to put lotion just on the palms of your hands. And then run that through your hair. Try to get every strand. Pull it off to the side, you know, and go like this. Try to get every strand the best you can. Just a couple drops. Because what ahoba does is it completely seals up the hair shafts from the root all the way down to the tip. It just seals everything up. So you're going to be sealing in all this goodness. So that is my hair mask. And it's a really, really good one, you guys. Um, I love you all so much. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I hope your week is fantastic. And I will see you on whatever Wednesday. Bye-bye.